Okay, hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified series, not actually. Fortnite Victory Royale series, I don't think so. Because um, none of those are branded on the packaging of this figure. So I guess it could be whichever one you want it to be. So it could be Fortnite Victory Royale series or it could be G.I. Joe Classified series. Uh, this is one of those weird ones. It's the Fortnite G.I. Joe collaboration figure. This is the Snake Eyes Zero Point Edition. Um, the pre-order was ridiculously long, right? It was like a year in advance. Like, no way it's actually going to take that long. Well, it took that long plus another like six months on top of it. So Hasbro Pulse finally shipped out the orders um, of this. Um, and it is pretty cool. It's not the greatest figure ever because it's basically a repaint with some other new accessories and things. Nothing real special, but it is still kind of cool. Um, and again, it was Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Don't know if they're ever going to restock it or anything like that. Looking at the package, here we have a look at the Snake Eyes figure, which actually does look really cool. I like that. One thing that this figure um, doesn't show, I get, well, it has the bandolier, right? If that's what that's called. It, it would, I don't think it, they ever showed it on the figure. The figure actually has it on there already. So that throws off a little bit because it's all colorful. And it's like, well, Snake Eyes, like he's got these rainbow... Uh, colored light boogie bombs or whatever they're called so it's just kind of funky but a bunch of accessories um there is it enough accessories to warrant the 40 dollar price no probably not um but unfortunately it is what it is um it sucks that the price is you know pretty high but um you know sometimes to get the figure that's what ends up happening and it kind of sucks, but it did sell out. Anyway, Fortnite G.I. Joe there, Snake Eyes Zero Point Edition. And then this opens up similar to the uh, Comic Con exclusive, or I guess Pulse Con exclusive, uh, Cobra Commander, how that uh, box was. But here we have the figure and all the accessories um, you know, displayed nicely in there. And it has a really good look to it, uh, which is pretty cool. I will do a comparison of this Snake Eyes with the regular release number two Snake Eyes. And then also the Double Zero Deluxe package snake eyes there because this one um is all the same so and then this figure again is getting released with another timber um so it's three releases of the snake eyes and then soon to be a fourth release which is um a lot of snake eyes figures but i mean that should not come as a surprise to anybody right they're going to do a lot of uh, releases so anyway i'm going to take all these um accessories individually out we'll take a closer look at them i don't think i'm going to go over the articulation on uh, in this video because it is the same snake eyes we've seen before unfortunately i pulled back on collecting the the uh, fortnite victory royale series so i don't really have anything to actually compare this figure to in terms of uh, Fortnite. So my apologies there. So I don't actually know if some of these accessories have already been released because I have not been following along with the Fortnite um, release stuff. So I don't get the news on it that, you know, the PR team, they don't send me the information. So I never know when those figures are coming out. I don't know what the accessories are. I'm no longer familiar with it. I thought I was going to continue with it, but then I just thought, you know what? I don't need these. They're cool figures, but Nothing I actually really needed. So um, enough of that. Let's get this figure and all the accessories out. And let's take a closer look. Okay, so here's the Snake Eyes figure out of the package. And yeah, there's some weird things about it. I actually really, really like the way the black and grays look together um, for the Snake Eyes. The accessories are cool. I would say this is probably more of a Fortnite pack because of all, most of the accessories are Fortnite accessories. Like these are all, these are all Fortnite that's all Fortnite stuff, and the only ones that are G.I. Joe Classified series would be the Shuriken throwing hand that we have here that came with um, came with the Double Zero, the Deluxe one at least. Did it come with the regular release also? I think it did, right? Anyway, I think it did. Um, and then, of course, his sword there. Um, but, yeah, there's some weird things about this figure that also leans towards me thinking that it's a, a Fortnite figure so probably more towards a younger demographic a younger collector because I'm gonna zoom in here and looking at a couple of things so that knife right there that's a cool looking knife check it out it's sheath and everything um, yeah that's molded that you're not that th that knife doesn't actually come out that's not happening now I know what you're thinking like wait the snake eyes had that with the sheath on his hip and you can actually pour uh you know put in a knife and take the knife out yes these are not the same though as you can see this one is quite larger 
they they remolded it to look almost exactly the same, but without a functioning knife. You can't remove that. That's just that's just stupid. <laughs> like, why? Why why go through the trouble of doing that? Doesn't make sense. Uh, but here's the other kicker. This one's even crazier. Check out that gun there in that holster. That's an awesome looking holster. Look at that silver paint and that gun in there. That's cool. Yeah, that gun doesn't actually come out. That's molded into the damn holster. Like, what in the world were they thinking? Like, you have the holster. You guys have made the gun. Why did you remake it? With the go uh, with the gun molded in there like that, you can't use it. And see where right here, the suppressor or silencer, whatever you want to call it, that's supposed to plug in right there. Yeah, they just didn't. They just kind of filled it in. They didn't even leave a hole there because it doesn't come with one. So why would you even need it? But why go through the hassle of remolding that? Did that cost more? I would think because you would need to reuse, you know, retool it or create a new tooling or something. Um, and I, you know, I'm not in the industry. I have no idea the cost breakdowns of things. Um, but in my opinion, I would think it would cost more to retool that than to just include the accessories that you guys already have existing tooling to. Um, maybe I'm reading into that a little too much. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to bother me that much because I, you know, I don't do a whole lot with the accessories and things like that and posing pictures and doing photography and things like that. Um, but it's still an extremely odd choice in my opinion that I just think is weird. Now, the cool thing is, is if you really like this look of snake eyes, these things can come off. You can warm them up and pull them all the way off the legs. And then you could swap them out with the ones that it came with either the number two release or the double zero deluxe release. If that's what you really wanted to do, you can find something to function for it. Um, but again, the, you know, this figure, well, I guess same price as that one. And that one came with a crazy special packaging, all kinds of accessories. Whereas that one, you know, was $20 figure. Um, and this thing's a $40 figure for these, you know, funky stuff so um I, I think this one is going to be more towards a fortnite collector than a gi joe collector but i still think the figure looks cool if that makes sense but anyway let's take a look at these different accessories and excuse me i'm not going to know the names of them because i don't play the fortnite game but i'll take i'll, I'll show up close so you guys can see how they look because they are pretty cool but you guys can let me know in the comments below what they're called Okay, so first we have um, Snake Eyes' sword. So here is the sheath. We got the Arash Kage logo there, painted in red on the front and the back. And then the sword um, sheaths in there. This is the same sword that we've gotten multiple times. Um, so that is not... Ooh, focus. It is not anything new, but it's there. Um, we do get the left-hand shuriken uh, throwing hand. Nicely painted there. That looks good. That is not actually new. Uh, before I forget, the bandolier here uh, with the... Uh, pretty colors there for the boogie bombs and speaking of boogie bomb There's a boogie bomb that is not even close to the same size So that's just kind of funny. It's not a big deal, but I thought I'd throw that in there So um, I think I know this one. I think this one is called a boogie bomb, right? So uh, hopefully I'm not wrong on that big silver pin there that you, you know It doesn't flap around or anything, but that is the boogie bomb um, here we have some other kind of grenade bomb type thing because this is like a snowman head I don't know what it's called but it's interesting, painted nicely. Uh, cheap ass, gray looking plastic for the, the pin and handle there. But that looks good. Uh, next is some other kind of canister. This is maybe some kind of gas or some other kind of grenade. Uh, gray plastic, a little bit of light blue, a little bit of green in there. Sculpted nicely, looks pretty good, but no idea what it's called. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> next, uh, we have a harpoon gun here. And this is nice, it looks like yellow for the rope. Uh, nice silver color there for the harpoon spear. It's molded nicely, looks pretty good. No complaints there, it's colorful. Uh, here we have this uh, rifle, black plastic with a little bit of gray paint. Not a whole lot there. It's got all like smooth areas and stuff which makes me believe that it's, it's basically a Fortnite weapon. Um, there's no like texture detail to some of the weapons whereas on you know usually the GI Joe classified series There's you know a lot more sculpted detail in the guns and stuff. So uh, we have that uh, We have this uh, grenade launcher type black plastic with a little bit of gray here and there a little bit of light blue 
there and that looks pretty good not a whole lot else going on there um, and then last but not least we have this uh, plunger thing like what I don't know is this one of the uh, the harvesting tools I, I really don't know um, they have some like wood color paint right there for the handle and it's actually got some sculpted texture for it to make it look like wood that's actually pretty good you know Marvel Legends bats don't even get that when it's a wooden bat a little bit of light blue uh, paint in there and then the plunger portion itself it's not like a soft rubber plastic it's it's um, got a little bit of pliability to it but it, what's cool it's on a ball joint so it actually kind of hinges around a little bit so that is actually pretty cool and that is it for the accessories. Now let's take a look at Snake Eyes and we'll go over the differences between this and the other two. Okay, so taking a closer look at the Snake Eyes uh, figure, this looks pretty good. It has the basically uh, the mask that was from like the deluxe uh, one, but this one had some matte uh, black there kind of on the top. This one just the shiny uh, black kind of all around uh, there, but the silver visor, whereas the regular release had an all black visor, as you can see there. Uh, we get the G.I. Joe logo added to the shoulders of Snake Eyes because clearly in the game, you know, they have to represent, hey, G.I. Joe, right? Um, some cool added paint details um, on this figure, though. So, like, here on the back, we get some nice silver paint added where, and then you can see where there would be an Arashikage logo, um, which none of the previous figures um, actually had that, but some nicely painted details. So, like, these rivet areas there, so some silver paint added there. Even right here at the top of the shoulders, whereas the previous ones um, did not have that added paint deal. It's tiny, not necessary, but that's cool that they, you know, added a little bit more detail to that because there's not a whole lot, you know, really going for the figure. The regular release had some red in the elbow pad there. We do not get that on this one. The deluxe did not either. Um, we get a couple of different colors. The regular release was primarily all black, um, all black plastic, whereas this one, we get a dark gray there in the center and a little bit of a darker, bl uh, almost black color here on some of the sides. So nice black and gray um, as opposed to an all black. So like here on the pants, you could see those gray areas um, that kind of um, helps stand out a little bit like on the knee pads, so we had shiny black um, around the knees, we get gray color there. Um, it, the boots have like this greenish hue to it. It's almost like a dark bronze green, I don't know how well it's coming on um, across on camera, um, but it is not like black, like the regular release. Um, the deluxe version had brown paint at the top of the boot, but the boot itself was uh, black, so it's not like this super dark greenish color um, that this new one has. Um, I talked about the thing that pisses me off with the, the holster and the sheath. It doesn't doesn't make sense. Why would you spend more money to, to retool that? I don't get it. Uh, the belts are painted uh, basically the same as like the regular release, the silver paint with the red Arashikage logo. The deluxe had a different color uh, belt because the pants were a different color. So um, obviously there is that difference there. Um, again, the bandolier with the grenades, um, you could see they are painted to kind of look like the boogie bombs, whereas the regular release was all black. Uh, the deluxe version had gr uh, black grenades where the strap, bandolier strap was kind of matched like this brownish uh, color that the other portions of the figure had. Um, we do get the Arashikage logo there, some nice silver paint in these rivet areas where we didn't get all of the paint on these other ones. So this circle, like right there, that circle, that was painted silver on all of them, but like here, that button or rivet there, those two there, those two, that one there, those are new, um, that's new paint that has been added uh, to the figure. Another spot on the gauntlet piece, the forearm um, guard piece, um, the same thing, those rivets get silver paint, whereas the deluxe did not get that. They were all black. And then the regular release, they were all black as well. So silver paint added there. Um, and of course, it's going to be on the other side. 
but other than that not not a whole lot going on um this could be the best snake eyes figure but it's just the weird thing so you have to kind of mash up and kit bash and take pieces from this one um for this one to be a better figure so that's just super unfortunate so again this is going to be for those Fortnite collectors, in my opinion, because you get all the cool Fortnite accessories and things that I'm dropping all over the place or whatever, um, instead of a G.I. Joe Classified Series figure. So if you are a Classified Series collector, um, I think this is, this is one that you actually can skip if you're a completionist like me at this point. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe don't buy it if you haven't. Um, cause it's really not going to be necessary in my opinion, of course, of course, my opinion. So I'm going to try and figure out like in terms of him holding the accessories and stuff. So some of these, you know, grenades are, are quite large. I don't think you're really supposed to hold them by the handle, but that's the only way he's going to kind of be able to do that. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of funky, right? I mean, that's not how you want it to be. Um, these are quite large. I don't know that even their GI, not the GI, their Fortnite figures would be able to hold them correctly, right? I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, looking at the gun. Let's see if the trigger finger will actually work, though. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That works. That looks good. Uh, let's see, this grenade launcher. Get his finger. Oh, he gets his finger in there. Look at that. That works. Yeah, that works really well. And then you could do, you know, like that. All right. Uh, let's see, we got one more here. This is like the harpoon gun. Yep, trigger finger. That works out well. Yep, that looks good. Um, and then this, again, I don't know if this is the harvesting tool or if that's supposed, if the plunger is supposed to shoot out or whatever. You just start hitting people with a plunger. So those all really work out. Okay, so I'm going to end the review here. Sorry, again, I don't have any Fortnite figures to do a comparison with. Um, it, it's just kind of frustrating. Here I thought, oh, this, this Snake Eyes figure is going to be awesome. I'm going to love it. Um, and it's just... I, it's not as good as, as I thought. I still really like the design of it. The colors, the, the blacks and grays. Um, going together the silver visor is is definitely a nice touch but again you know you can have your ultimate snake eyes figure if you start kit bashing and t stealing pieces from one another um, the, the knife on the side on his leg really bothers me the holster on his right leg those things really bother me because I just don't understand why they would take that away um, it's weird maybe it's a Fortnite thing I you know I, I don't know you know when it came to licensing when you have a collaboration like that yeah Hasbro owns the Snake Eyes license it's easy for them to do um, there's no license or approval process right um, but Fortnite there would be so in order for this figure to get released and be branded as part of the Fortnite um, release you know Fortnite epic games they've had to sign off on certain things and you know the knife and the gun that could be um, dictated by epic games I have no idea um, seems weird because it's a uh, the the game Fortnite there's all kinds of weapons and stuff and so I, I you know I really don't know but you guys let me know down in the comments below what you think of this snake eyes figure were you super disappointed um, with it like I was um, Cause I'm pretty bum. I'm pretty bummed. They're like this, that, those things really bother me. Like we had them; they were great before. Why would you take them away to be non-functioning? Um, just odd decisions. Forty dollars is a hefty price, uh, but I get it, right? It's you know Fortnite and GI Joe, and and there's more accessories, special box that's still all cardboard. Eh, it's it's frustrating. And, and I, you know, I, I don't want to complain too much because, again, I think the figure looks cool, looks the best, um, just isn't quite the best release. But you guys let me know down in the comments below your thoughts. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.